All right. So, another story time. I actually have an excuse this time for making a story time. Another one. Um, my excuse for this one is I kind of left my USB at my dad's house, so I can't get all the songs and stuff onto the PlayStation. And, yeah, because every time I record, I always delete the stuff that I... Every time I record and upload, I always delete the stuff that I use on my Share Factory. Because... Except my outro music, because, yeah. But today, we're going to be telling you the story how I almost got caught beating my meat. Alright, so... I don't know if this was winter break. No, it wasn't winter break. It was in the winter time, though. It was on a weekend. And, um... So basically, like, it was, sorry for that, for the silence, there's someone at my door, um, so basically, what happened is I wasn't, okay, keep, keep this in mind, I have never, ever, like, that day, I haven't, like, talk. I didn't talk at all. Like, from 9.30 p.m. to the time that I, like, I was almost caught beating my dick. Um, I, I haven't been talking. I wasn't being loud. I wasn't even playing video games. I was just sitting watching YouTube. So, at, like, 1.30 in the morning, you know, I got... You know, I got ready, and, you know, pulled down my pants. What do you want? Oh, no, the biggest meme ever. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> no, get your mining away out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Uh... Oh my god, fuck. Alright, whatever. Let's just get back. So, 1.30, you know, I pulled my pants down, and uh, I took off my clothes and stuff like that, and I pulled my... I, like, shoved everything off my bed. I got my toilet paper to, you know, like, clean it up. So... And then I just started, you know, going at it. I didn't have anything to watch or nothing. But, you know. I have anything to watch. I didn't have, you know, anything like that. And, yeah. So, I... I went a bit! Um, so basically what I did is I was sitting there for like 13 like 30 minutes not watching or looking at anything just you know trying to satisfy my needs and see how long it would take me not to like like to not with like not watching anything because my friends say it's impossible but I don't really think it's impossible which it's not impossible um but yeah it's two o'clock still haven't nutted yet and Basically, um, my grandma, she woke up for some reason, and she went, and I heard her go to my brother's room and my sister's room and saying stuff. I was wondering what they were saying, and it was, like, kind of confusing what they were saying, but I, I soon found out that they were saying, like, You've been talking this whole time. Shut the fuck up. You've been talking so loud. You've been yelling and screaming. So, when that was over, I heard someone coming down the stairs. And sure enough, it was my grandma. My grandma was coming down the stairs. And she was heading to my room while I was in the middle of beating the shiz out of my peen. And, oh my god. So, what I did is I put the... The toilet paper back on my dresser 
Um, and I cl and I grabbed everything that I had that I pushed off my bed, grabbed my blankets, and I pulled over the covers just in time. But the only thing that really um, kind of uh, knew what was kind of wrong was my light was on, but she didn't know because I didn't I didn't tell her anything. She comes in my room and she's like, Austin, shut the fuck up. I can hear you screaming from upstairs, and I was dumbfounded, like, I was super angry, like, I, I didn't even say anything that whole time, she said, like, at 9.30, she said goodnight to me, I'm like, alright, goodnight, so, and I was just on my phone, you know, playing Geometry Dash and stuff like that, watching YouTube, and, yeah. And basically, she came down into my room and said I was screaming, and it was 2.30 in the morning, and I looked at my clock, and it said 2 o'clock, like, on the dot, 2 in the morning, and I said, like, I straight up said, you're fucking delusional. You're on some sort of drugs or something, you're fucking sleepwalking, but you're fucking delusional, you're retarded. Because I haven't been saying a goddamn word. I haven't been saying shit. I haven't been screaming anything. I haven't done anything wrong. I was sitting in my bed, chilling out, watching YouTube, playing games. I don't know where you thought I was yelling from, but you are fucking delusional. Fucking delusional. And and then she says, well, what are you even doing in here? Why are your lights on? And I didn't even say anything. I'm like, why do you want to know? Why do you want to know? I'm not even doing anything that's not in, none of your concern. You're kind of interrupting me, and I'm kind of in the middle of something. And she's like, what are you in the middle of, huh? I didn't, I didn't say, any, I didn't want to say anything because, you know, I'm going to go weird out. And then she's like, well, I'm telling your mom you've been screaming and all of this, and she's not going to be very happy with you, and she's not going to be happy with you staying up so late and stuff like that, which I kind of always stay up late. S who cares if it's a school night or not? I always stay up late. And, yeah. I've, I've always stayed up late, and my mom didn't really care, but... And then she cl closes my door and she's like, okay, good night. And so we went to, so she went upstairs. She didn't even bother closing my fucking door. So I had to get up bare, bare ass, peeing out naked. And I closed the door. And yeah, I heard her go up back upstairs. And then I sat back down on my bed and then started going again. But my, all through my mind, I'm like... Out of the one time, the one time that my grandma, the one time that someone that like, comes close to coming in my room when I'm doing my business is my fucking grandma. Of course it is. Luckily, I didn't get caught. I was so happy I didn't get caught. I still haven't gotten caught to this day, but my mom already knows. She doesn't really care. She just says to clean up after herself. She even comes in my room and she's like, "You gonna, you gonna throw away your cum bucket? You gonna empty your cum bucket?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I will in a bit. I'll I'm gonna throw it in the garbage bag." And then yeah. So basically, that was it. She went back upstairs. I didn't say anything. You know, I did my business. I splooged. I cleaned it up. And then I went, put my clothes on, and I went back to bed. And basically, she woke up, my grandma woke up the next morning, and she didn't remember a thing. And I'm so glad she didn't remember a thing. And, but I think I, but I think I, I think I even told her, I'm like, oh yeah, you almost, you like, came in on me when I was kind of minding my own business. Like, pleasuring myself, and she's like, what, when? When did this happen? And I was so glad. And she thought I was making up a story because, you know, I like telling stories. I'm a storyteller. I, you know, um, basically, that's it. She almost caught me beating my peen, masturbating in my bed. But, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this story time. If you did, smack a like. Oh, um, and one thing, this is also going to be, like, um, big to my channel but next September the September that's coming up 
or October, I will be starting to post um, Geometry Dash videos because I'm because I'm getting a job um, like in late au in August, and I will be buying myself a computer, and I will be recording Geometry Dash videos because that's because when I started YouTube, that's what I wanted to do. I'd always want to make Geometry Dash videos. Because I like making Geometry Dash videos. I'm good at Geometry Dash, but I play on mobile and I can't record on mobile. And it sucks playing on mobile because mobile, 60 hertz, uh, and I'm getting, uh, I'm getting a 60 hertz uh, computer. But my friend knows the FPS bypass and to get like me to 240 hertz. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that. And yeah, so basically that's the channel update. I don't know if I'm going to be host Fortnite anymore, but I will. But hey, that's all the time I've got. So I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys. Good night.